fancy new party. It's very lovely. Those bushes are all a glow. And these glasses are a glow too. Everything's a glow. I'm quite nervous now. I saw you have two beverages. I just picked up my wet goat. I have two hands. Well, that's appropriate. What are you drinking? Um, moonshine and Canadian Mabatalu. What's moonshine? Do you have to do that? Um, homemade. Is that your husband? Yes, wasn't he cute? Two and a half years. I don't know. Are you cute? <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to Philip. <laughs> she said you were cute and I just wanted to check. <laughs> hi, Philip. <laughs> Hello. Are you drinking the moonshine? Uh, just a little bit, yes. Excellent. Um, does it, does it make the moonshine? Uh, oh. Not yet, it has. <laughs> <laughs> Philip does not have a groin. Oh. No, I don't. Stop you looking down there. <laughs> Thank you very much for inviting me to your party. Bye, Phil. Thanks for coming. Have a good evening. I like the shape of your head. <laughs> I like the shape of my head. That's amazing. <laughs> Can we do that again sometime? Oh, yes. That well, was exciting. Come over some other time and we will do that again. So let's see. I was so fascinated with the lights. The lady brought me out here to the city lights to see all of them. I didn't know it was even around. This is another bush that has some lights. I find out that the lights don't grow on them, that people put them there. I was going for relief, you know. So I'm really kind of glad that these aren't on fire. Oh, can we go up there? Can we go up there? Look at that tree. It almost looks on fire. This looks like some sort of ceremony. Look at all of it. That's a lot of batteries. There are some toys that have been banished to the center of this cement uh, structure. Know, perhaps one day Santa will take them and give them to children. I don't know, but I feel for them. There's some frozen people over here. I wonder why. They look the moment they're cold. Oh, they got a little baby in there. Oh my gosh, there's a sticky baby in there. Why does it put a sticky baby out in the cold? I mean, just because you're sticky doesn't mean that you should be cold. Aren't you cold out here? I like your beard. It's very nice. The lady has a blanket on her head. She she might not be as cold as the rest of them. Can we come back up here and give that baby a blanket? He needs one very really bad. I look at the snow, it's all around him. Well, is it okay if I bring that baby a blanket? Shall I take your style into the tent? Okay then, maybe you need a jacket too. These people are frozen solid. All of the bushes are on fire in the cold and all of the people are frozen. This is just like some other world. It looks like a flag, like the flag I see all the time. The lights have melted the snow underneath of it, so it's got to be pretty warm. Maybe we could wrap the baby in some of those. Oh my god, this look. Said has workshop. That's an awful tiny little building. And he, he must have all the double A batteries in the world, because I don't know. Those candy canes, they just have to be running or something. Hello? Is anybody in there? There's a baby out here that needs a blanket. They must have the weekend off. We went back to the car and got my little centre blanket. We had it in the sack. I'm going to put it on that, that little frozen baby. I hope you feel better soon. He looks a little bit warmer now. I don't know what they're thinking. It's just a baby. I mean, for crying out loud, it's pretty cold out here. 
I'm told that there's lots of lights all over the place and we might get to see some more. But I really don't need to see any more. And it is really pretty. But I think I've had enough. I don't have anything against the ivy trees. I just like these lights quite a bit. And they dance pretty on the ceilings. I like them very much, but I think they might be dangerous. They don't take in the batteries, I know that though. It's like you get staring at it and you just can't stop. Yeah.